shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. His hand gonna rise up against the hand of his neighbor. Everybody gonna be fighting. Hear that? Give me a uh, second Ezra 15 and 14. You see, a lot of y'all don't realize that the Most High is setting everything up. Y'all think the elite, y'all the elite, got new world order, ain't gonna be no new world, gonna be a new world, new world disorder. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be, a new world disorder. Ain't gonna be no new world order. <laughs> Read this. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. Verse 14. Verse 14. Second Ezra, verse 15, verse 14. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Right. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Come on. For the sword and their destruction draw it nigh. So it says, woe means destruction to the world and those that are living in this world. Because the sword, what's the matter they saw it? The gun. Everybody's strapped. Right? The sword and destruction draw near. Come on. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. One people going to stand up to fight against another. Just like we just read in Zechariah. One people going to stand up to fight against another. Really? And swords in their hands. What's the sword? What's the matter of those sword? With guns in their hands. Come on. For there shall be sedition. There'll be sedition. Really? Among men. Among men. Come on. And invading one another. Invading one. I mean, they're going to be coming up in your house. You're going to be stopped at the corner. They're going to come in your car. Invading one another. You ain't going to be safe at all. Really? They shall not regard their king. They're going to regard Obama. Come on. Their princes. House of Representative. No military. Read. And the course of their actions shall stand in their own, in their power. That's right. The course of the action of the people that outnumber everything they can bring on this earth, it gonna stand in the course of their power. Uproar. Martial law. People going crazy. Y'all right, Shalom. Really? A man shall desire to go into a city. You'll desire to go from South Central just to Inglewood. Really? And shall not be able. And you're not gonna be able to go from South Central to Inglewood. Really? For because of their pride. Because of the pride that's amongst all these people. And they have built up this big pride. Well, you're all about yourself. Really? The city shall be troubled. That the city's going to be troubled. That's why you're not going to be able to go from city to city. Really? The houses shall be destroyed. The houses shall be destroyed. Really? And men shall be afraid. And men shall be afraid. So what do you think the women going to be doing? <laughs> They're going to be really afraid. They're going to be looking for, where's, where's the righteous men at? Where's the ones that this is not affecting? They're going to want to know then. might be too late. Read. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Said, a man will have no pity on his neighbor. Read. But shall des destroy their houses. They're going to destroy their houses. They have no pity coming in there with violence that you ain't never seen before. Read with the sword. What's the modern day sword? I'm gonna say it again. The gun. They got guns in their hands. Coming up in your house and having no pity, killing everybody. Read and spoil their good. They're gonna rob you. Spoil me. He's gonna rob you. Read because of the lack of bread. Why? Because the lack of bread. Yeah. The truck stop. If the semi truck stop bringing the food to the store, it's gonna be a what? Lack of bread. You gonna be no? You gonna have no food? It's not going to be any food. Just like they was talking about, they was trying to stop the trucks from running this weekend. They said, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no trucks. I don't see no semi-trucks either. They might have got the word across to all of them. If they stopped the trucks, they said they shut down America, we're going to shut down the food supply. Huh. Say we're going to shut down the food supply. You want to shut down America, we're going to shut down the food supply. Because all the food coming on the trucks, the semi-tractor trailers. They don't have no pity on their neighbor. They're just going to follow. It's going to be uprising everywhere, all over the world. Really? And for great tribulation. And for great tribulation. Lack of food and great tribulation. Because people are going to be going crazy with guns in their hands. All kind of things that bring about destruction. Where are you going to be at then? Where are you going to be at? That's why the Most High said we got to follow him. We got to come back. But what's happening with our people? Get Hosea 4 or 6. There's a problem with our people. 
That's what we come to tell you. You gotta come out of this mindset of America. Because America set up to send you straight to hell. America set up to send you in this. You like this? If you like it, that's what it's set up to send you. Because I couldn't preach enough talking about this. It's in the scriptures, all over the scriptures. Me? Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. This is our people. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said, His people, who are the children of Israel, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Why are you destroyed for lack of knowledge? Because you don't, Proverbs 1 and 7. You don't, you don't have, you don't have this. His people don't have this. And you think about it, like brother just came up and said he had his own, he was creating his own God. He didn't uh, create his own God. He said he was God, really. He was God, yeah, initially. You know what I mean? But once the scripture came out, he got a view on back down when he's wearing a word of the most high, he's gonna back you down. Proverbs 1 and 7. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the most high is the beginning of knowledge. So the, our people don't have the fear of the most high. They ain't afraid of the most high. But no soon something bad happened. God please save me. They start hollering and screaming then. No soon something bad happened. That's when you start opening your mouth crying out to him. But you better cry out to him before and develop a relationship with him and repent. Asking for forgiveness for your sins. Especially you that don't believe in his laws, statute commandments. You got something to pay for. That's real. Because he gave us laws, statute commandments, moral laws, civil laws, dietary and ceremonial laws. And the sacrificial law was done away with. Well, the Mashiach that was shy, the lamb of the most side died on the tree. But see, you don't know that because you think in all this madness that you've been taught. It's madness. It's crazy. When you think about it, the most high created 613 laws and just say, oh, they know the void. Don't worry about that no more. Just follow what? What the man or man have told you. Boom. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. See, fools despise wisdom and instruction. See? Give me 2 Timothy 3 and 16. See, fools despise wisdom and instruction. Where you get it from? You get it from the Bible. You get it from this word that we're bringing forth now. The Bible. Read. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. Yeah, all scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High. Read. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So the instruction that fools don't want to hear is from the Bible. <laughs> they don't want to hear it. Straight up. That's why the most I said in Hosea 4 and 6, go back. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Right. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you destroyed for lack of knowledge. Really? Because thou has rejected knowledge. Because you reject the knowledge of what? The fear of the most high. To be afraid of the most high to come back to him before it's too late, before you end up crispy in this burnt lake of fire like America's going to be, right? I will also reject thee. Say, you're a bunch of rejects. Say, if you don't want to come back to him, he's going to reject you. And what else? That well, thou shall be no priest to me. That these preachers not going to be preaching to him. They can't preach to him. They cannot be no weapons. They can't be no representative of him, no ambassador of him. Why? Read. See, thou hast forgotten the law. Uh -oh. Why the preachers can't be an ambassador of the Most High or Mashiach Delashah? Because they what? Thou hast forgotten the law. They have forgotten what? The law. But the preachers say you're not under the law. You're in the mercy of grace. But then what have they done? Forgotten the law. They have forgotten the law. Really? Of the Most High. Of oh, the Most High. Come on. I will also forget thy children. That's why we the children that's been forgotten. That's what we're telling you, brothers and sisters. It's time to come back to the Most High. He loves us. All right. He only say he love us. Show me somewhere where he say he love any other nation beside the children of Israel. The seed of Jacob. It's not in there. You can make it up if you want to, but you can't show me in scripture. Read that again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Yes, because you have rejected the knowledge that's coming for. You say he's going to make you a bunch of rejects. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Come on. Seeing 
Thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High. You've forgotten the law of the Most High. Because you've been taught you're not under the law. But you're under the mercy of grace. Come on. I will also forget thy children. You're going to forget your children. Come on. As they, as they were increased. As we were increased as a nation of Israel. Who you are. Really? So they sin against me. We sin against the Most High. He told us to follow his laws and commandments. He going to set us on high above all nations of the earth. But what do we do? Therefore, will I change their glory into shame? Yeah, he changed our glory into shame. That's why women run around here with pants on and so forth. When the most I said a woman's not wear, to wear that which pertaining to a man. A man not supposed to put on a dress like a woman. But what are they doing in Hollywood? Huh? Come on, brother. You got to put the dress on. Now you're going to be successful. You got it like, like uh, the one brother in that, that one movie, uh, Pulp Fiction. The brother, the cop, got a dang old apple in his mouth, pumping him in the butt. How you gonna go home to his wife and say, baby, I gotta play this role today. I'm gonna get paid, though. Come on, man, that's some homosexual. That, how you gonna do that? You married. Your man gonna come home and tell you, hey, look, baby, they gonna, every, the whole world gonna see it over and over and over again. Him getting pumped in the butt by a white man. Now I'm successful. Now I'm successful. That's giving your soul over to the devil. Straight up. No other way you can look at it, man. Most I ain't with that. Boom. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame? Our glory, our woman is, is, is shameful right now. I mean, they're very shameful, man. The things that they do just to try it. But, but, and it started at a young age, too. Uh, at a young age. Messed up. Really? They eat up the sin of my people and they set their heart on their iniquity. Right, man. Set their heart, their mind on doing wickedness, man. Walk around here wicked as ever. And don't want to hear the law of the most high. Don't hear what's right. Uh. Don't want to be corrected. Get an attitude with you. Quick, fast, and a hurry. Give me Ezekiel, the second chapter. Quick, fast, and a hurry. Get, a mad, get mad with you. Get an attitude with you. But we don't care. Because we love our people enough to come out to show you what's right. What do you hear for bear? Boom. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, set, stand upon thy feet. Stand upon your feet. What do you say? Stand. Say stand upon your feet. Stand up. Be a man. Read. And I will speak unto thee. Say so gonna speak to him. Read. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. Uh-huh. Come on. And set me upon my feet. That I heard him that spake unto me. Right, he heard him, really? And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Yeah, send him to who? The children of Israel. I'm sending you to the children of Israel. Who? To a rebellious nation. Who? A rebellious nation. See, that's, he sent Jeremiah to a rebellious nation. A rebellious nation. You know who you are. That's why he sent an ex out to a rebellious nation. So we got to come forth, though, will we? That have rebelled against me. Rebelled against the Most High. We as a people, we have rebelled, rebelled against the Most High. Will we? They and their fathers have transgressed against me. See? We and our forefathers transgressed against the Most High. How you transgress against them? By not following His laws, and statutes, commandments. His rules and regulations. Will we? Even until this very day. Even until this very day. 2013. Really? For they are impudent. For they are impudent children. Impudent mean you silly and stupid. That's what he calling you. Silly and stupid children. Really? And stiff hearted. Stiff hearted. Stiff minded. Won't even listen. Hard headed. Bunch of knuckleheads. That's what, he, that's what the most high is saying about us. As a people. The rebellious ones, read. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them. What well, he told us to say to you, just like he told Jeremiah, we said the same thing, read. Thou said the Most High power. Do what the Most High said, what he said. And they, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Whether you hear or forbear, read. For they are a rebellious house. Most High say you're a rebellious family. The children of Israel, that's who you are, read. Yet shall know that there had yet shall now that yet shall now 
yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them. Oh, he told them, he said, hey, they're going to know that a prophet has been among them. What do you hear for that? Read. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them. They don't be afraid of the wicked Israelites, two-thirds of our people. Read. Neither be afraid of their word. Don't be afraid of what you say to us. Say, hey, we know that you rebellious because it's written here. Read. The briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. Yeah. Say, briars and thorns be amongst us. Talk about you as the two thirds. You that don't want to hear the word. You that's going to rebel and be rebellious against the truth. Read. Be not afraid of their words. So don't be afraid of your words. So we hear all kind of words come against us. Huh. Read. Nor be dismayed at their looks. No, we are, we're not going to be dismayed at the way you look at us. Come on. Though they be a rebellious house. Though you be a rebellious house. He done gave us the orders. Come on. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. We're going to speak the words of the Most High, like I told the brothers. And I tell you the same thing. We're going to speak the words of the Most High, according to the Bible to you. Read. Really? Whether they will hear. Whether you hear. Or whether they will forbear. Or whether you don't want to hear. Really? For they are most rebellious. Most I say, you as the children of Israel, that's who you are, brothers and sisters. He said, you most rebellious. Really? But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Say, hear him. Come on. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. So he told us, don't be rebellious as that rebellious house, that rebellious family. Talk about the two-thirds of Israelites. Me? Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. That's it. And okay. Come on. And when I looked, behold, a hand was set up unto me. Right. So Jeremiah, did you see, Jeremiah was a young man. And the most I said, hey, don't worry about it. Whether they look at you all funny, don't worry about it. He gonna give you the spirit to speak what he spoke. Jeremiah 30 and 1. Read that. So what do you hear for prayer? We're going to still give it to you. We're going to bring it. The unadulterated truth according to the word of the Most High. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Most High saying. This is the word that came from Jeremiah saying what? Thus speaketh the Most High power of Israel. The Most High power of who? Israel. Of Israel. Who's our power? Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to the twelve tribes of Israel. Read. Say, write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. So he told him to write the words that he spoke to him in a book. That's why we have the book of Jeremiah. Ezekiel, Daniel, Haggai, and all the prophets. Say, so write these words in a book. Give me a second. Peter's 1 and 20 and 21. Because people say, like, well, the Bible, who wrote the Bible? Man wrote the Bible. Yeah. The most I just told Jeremiah to write all the words that he gave him in a book. That's why we have the book of Jeremiah. Read. 2 Peter chapter 1. Verse 20 and 21. Verse 20 and 21. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So no prophecy of the scriptures of, is of any private interpretation. Meaning a man will come up with his own little interpretation of what it means. No, it's not, it's not like that. It's not written like that, really. For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man. So man, just because he wanted to have it, it didn't come because he wanted it. It didn't come by the will of man, really. But holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right, holy men spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. That's how Jeremiah was able to write the words that he wrote in the book of Jeremiah through the Holy Spirit. That's how it works. Give me a uh, Psalm. Let me give you an example. Psalms 110 and 1. Psalm chapter 110 and verse 1. And verse 1. The Most High said unto my power. Read it, I see. 
Yeah. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So this is David saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thee on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So this is a key point. Get Mark 12, I believe 35. So he says, Sit thee on my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. So Mashiach Yahweh Shai, that's the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, the anointed Savior, who the world falsely called Jesus Christ. That's David's power. That's what he's talking about. Read this. 36. 12, 35. Mark chapter 12, verse 35. And the Mashiach Yahweh Shai answered and said, while he taught in the temple, how say the scribes that Hamashiach is the son of David? They say, how say the scribes that Hamashiach Yahweh is the son of David? That's the question. When he's in the temple, say, how do the scribes say that I, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, talk about himself, is the son of David? Read. Really? For David himself said, by the Holy Spirit. How did David say this? By the Holy Spirit. How did David say it? By the Holy so Spirit. So David himself said, by the Holy Spirit, what did he say? The Messiah said to my power, sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemy thy footstool. So now, understand this. That's how David said that. That's how David was able to write that through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. David, therefore, himself called him Lord. So David himself, King David himself, called Hamashiach that was shot Lord. Read. Really? And whence is he then his son? So how is he his son? If he calling me Lord, and what Mashiach I was trying to say, well, how am I his son? If he calling me Lord. Confusing the people. Right. But not those that's in the spirit. Really? And the common people heard him gladly. They heard him gladly. So go to Revelation 1 and 1. Let's, let's get an understanding of how everything is. Straight up. That's why David was able to say that through the Holy Spirit. Because he lets you know exactly how everything is operating right here in the first verse read this revelation chapter 1 verse 1 right the revelation of hamashiach yawashah so the revealing of our power hamashiach yawashah the world falsely called jesus christ first verse of revelation read which the most high gave unto him so the most high gave is revealing of hamashiach yawashah to hamashiach yawashah read to show unto his servants things which must certainly come to pass so to show unto the servants who are the servants let's get right down to the nitty-gritty who the servants of the Most High? It ain't everybody. Isaiah 44, 1 and 2. So who are the servants of the Most High? It's not everybody. So it says to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass in the future. So the Most High served Hamashiach that was shot things that will come in the future to show to us, the children of Israel. We're going to see who the servants are. Read. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Right. Yet now here, O Jacob, my servant. There it is. Oh, Jacob, all day long, we hear it. That's our forefather. He the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. And Israel, whom I have chosen. Israel, whom the Most High chosen. Not the Jewish people. We're talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Who we are and who you are. We're the chosen people of the Most High. Can't nobody denounce this. Prove that we're not. Scriptures I'm talking about. History, archaeology, whatever you want to use. We got it all here. We challenge anybody. Your servants. But we the servants, as it said. Jacob, my servant. So Jacob, the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, we the servants of the Most High. Not everybody's a servant, just like everybody's not a saint. Yeah, everybody don't have mercy and grace. Every nation don't have mercy and grace. You don't have mercy and grace. You don't have mercy and grace if you gave you the laws. That's why you need mercy and grace. So you don't bring that wrath upon you. The other nations have not been judged. What do you think slavery was? That was a judgment upon us because we didn't follow the Most High's commandments. His laws touch commandments. So he put a judgment on us. He told us he's going to do this. Read on. Go back to Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation. So we established that the Israelites are the servants of the Most High. Let's get to it right to the point. Come on. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Hamashiach Yahushai. The revealing of Hamashiach Yahushai, read. Which the Most High gave unto him. The Most High gave to Hamashiach Yahushai, read. To show unto his servants. To show unto us, the twelve tribes of Israel. We're the servants of the Most High. 
You are the servants of the Most High. But you don't know it because you think you're a so-called African-American. You think you're just a black man, just a color. You think you come from two white men, Little Sirius Africanus or Amerigo Vespucci. How you come from them two white men? Think about it, they laughing at you all the way to the bank. But that's all you do is spend money. Trillion dollars a year, and we ain't got nothing to show for it. A trillion dollars a year we spend, and we're gonna have nothing to show for it. Really? Sure. And he sent and signified it by his angel. You see, he sent and signified by what? His angel. By his angel. His angel or his spirit. Read. Unto his servant John. Unto his servant John. That's how he revealed the re revelation to John. To who? To his angel. Psalms 104 and 4. But see, that's when you, you got to be in the spirit to understand how the both side deals with things. He's not, you can understand through the precept. So he said, revealing it to his angel. But who was his angel? What is he talking about when he says an angel? Let's, let's find out. Read. Psalm chapter 104, verse 4. He maketh his angels spirits. So he maketh his angels what? Spirits. Spirits. So he maketh his angels spirits. So it might say angel or it might say spirit. You understand? It might say angel or it might say spirit. So he maketh his angels spirits. Read. His ministers a flaming fire. His ministers, his angels or his spirit a flaming fire. His ministers flaming fire. What does that mean? His ministers flaming fire. What does that mean to you? His minister flaming fire. You mean you gotta light up to light up a match? Light up a cigarette lighter? Nah. It's hip talk. What's the fire? Jeremiah. 23. What's this fire? Because he makes his angels ministers of flaming fire. What's this fire? Read. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. Right. It's not my word like as a fire. What do you say? It's not my word as like a fire. His word is like fire. Read. Say it the most high. You know what the most high says? His word is like fire. It's hip talk. His word is like fire. Read. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. That's what it is. So you get that, brother? You get you seeing this? Very good, very good. Give me a uh, second Ezra. Second Ezra. Listen. Second Ezra. Second 8 and 21. Second Ezra, chapter 8, verse 21. Whose throne is inestimable. The most high throne is inestimable. You can't measure it. He's saying, read. Really? Whose glory may not be comprehended. Whose glory may not be comprehended. Read. Really? For whom, for whom the host of angels, the host of angels, read, really? stand with trembling. For the host of angels standing with trembling. That's all the angels. They stand out with trembling. With trembling. All right. Which one? That one? Which one? This one? Oh, no. Yeah. The one before. This, right is, this is 2nd Ezra, the 8th chapter, the 21st verse. 2nd Ezra. E-S-D-R-A-S. Jeremiah. It came, we came from Jeremiah 23, 29. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 23, 29. Then we went to 2nd Ezra, the 8th chapter, the 21st verse. We're going to read the 22nd verse. Read it from top. 2nd Ezra. Chapter 8, verse 21. Whose throne is inestimable. His throne is inestimable. It means it can't be measured. The most high throne cannot be measured, read. Really. Whose glory may not be comprehended. His glory may not be comprehended. You can't comprehend the glory of the most high, read. Really. For before whom the host of angels, the host of angels, the army of angels do what? Stand with trembling. They stand with trembling. The angels are before the most high trembling. Come on. Whose service is conversant in wind and fire. At the most high's conversation, he converses in what? Wind and fire. Wind and fire. That's him talk. But it's real. Because he said, it's not my word like as what? Fire. Right? And he converses.